Hi there folks and welcome to our Mother's Day edition of the Weekend Update. And first off, I want to start off this weekend by talking about the importance of home inspections, both for the buyer and for the seller. See, this weekend, or this week I should say, one of my buyer clients, they had an offer accepted. It was accepted last Saturday. And Tuesday they got their home inspector, the excellent Bob Leone of Robert Leone Property, Property Inspections, in to see the home. Now in our circles, Bob is known as a guy who strikes an excellent balance between pointing out what needs to be addressed in the home safety profile, but he also doesn't go out of his way to alarm people and to intimidate them out of buying a home. He wants you to have a good idea of what needs to be addressed and at the same time have an idea of what could be a significant issue. Look, every home you encounter has something wrong with it, even a new construction, and Bob knows that. He's somebody who strikes a balance between being informative, professional, and not an alarmist. So, good guy to have uh, come in. And Bob found quite a few issues with this house. There were frayed electrical connections between the transformers from PSEMG and the actual side of the house. There were holes in the siding. There was a leaning chimney that was damaging the roof. There was a termite riddled main beam that was supporting the home and it had questionable items installed as supports. In short, there was a lot of money that was going to need to be poured into the home and given some time to reflect upon the magnitude of the issues. Buyers made a wise decision to walk away from their offer and not go to contract. It was probably the best $500 they'll spend in the whole process because it kept them out of what could have been a difficult situation for years. Now, I want homeowners to pay attention to this as well. You see, a home inspector, uh, home inspections aren't just for home buyers. Many inspectors, like our good friend Blaze and Grisano at A Pro Home Inspections, they offer pre-listing home ins inspections as well. You get the same 500 point inspection that a buyer gets. You get 20 copies of the summary for you to hand out to buyers coming into your home or for your agent to hand out, I should say. And it allows you to know what might come up on an inspection before the buyers come in and make offers and you can either build it into your price beforehand or you can take steps to fix the problem and that gives you a chance to avoid giving people a reason to force you into a last minute concession on price that can be pretty costly and there are even home warranties that you can offer for a minimal price uh, through American Home, for instance, that protect your buyer and make your home more marketable. We find in our studies that homes with the warranty sell for a little bit more than homes without the warranty, definitely enough to offset the cost of one. And it's only a minimal cost anyway. Anyway, now that we've gotten past that, let's get to the houses this weekend, shall we? First off, last week we talked about the home on Bayview in the Mandalay section of Wontaw. Already has an accepted offer. It's a story we've been seeing a lot. Uh, great homes, they do not last in this market. Now Iris Lane in North Merrick, they reduced their price by $20,000 to $469 after hearing what the agents who previewed the home thought of the price. Uh, in addition, uh, from some of our other homes that we've talked about in the past, 84 Clinton and Farmingdale reduced to 499,990. 21 Stymus and Beth Page reduced to 539, and 1293 Clark Street in Elmont reduced to 419. In addition, I have two new rentals uh, available this month. Uh, first off, two-bedroom apartment in Farmingdale, 1800 a month. Also, a single-bedroom cottage in South Hempstead, right near Malloy College. 1500 a month. So if you're interested in those, please get in touch with me. Let's talk about listings. Two new ones uh, in Freeport over the last uh, week or so. 125 Porterfield, three bedroom, two and a half bath colonial. It's right near Freeport High School between Merrick and Sunrise. It's very convenient, walking distance to the Baldwin Long Island train station, 359. In addition, near the Freeport station, I've got 102 North Grove Street, sprawling five bedroom, three and a half bath colonial, 
It's nicely updated throughout. It sits on nearly 10,000 square feet of land. It's only 429. Some excellent bargains right now in Freeport. Here's a town I don't get to very often uh, when we're featuring homes, Cold Spring Harbor. 35 Grove Street. It's a four bed, three bath colonial. It's close to the beaches, it's close to the Long Island Railroad, close to golfing. It's the, at the end of a dead end street that, that kind of makes a little fish hook around from Main Street. Uh, it's basically a side street of a side street there. And like I said, at the end of the, the line, so you're not gonna have cars buzzing through. It's bright, it's full of light, it's very well maintained, and it's available for 819. Let's talk uh, about Levittown, Starter Homes, 30 Squirrel Lane in Levittown, one of the biggest Levitt expansions I've ever seen. It's got two downstairs bedrooms, it's got three second floor bedrooms, none of which snip on size. There are multiple family rooms upstairs as well as a, a large living room uh, downstairs, and even a third floor loft bedroom. There's a second floor deck, there's an attached workshop room, there's an attached laundry room, all this, and you can even walk to Dairy Queen for ice cream afterwards at 409990 Now this is our week for big homes uh, on the weekend update. North Belmore, let's talk about 856 Virginia Avenue, five bedroom, four bath, split level. The master suite has the soaking tub, it's got a, a large shower, it's got twin sinks, open floor throughout the main floor, open flow I should say throughout the main floor with a state-of-the-art kitchen. Everything about this house says elegant. It's a huge property, so many options for you. And at $729 is the list price. Taxes are under $13,000 once you get with the star exemption. So very reasonable on the tax bite. Let's keep the large home narrative going. 82 Loins Avenue in Merrick Woods, right in the middle of everything. The spacious farm ranch has two master bedrooms in it, five total bedrooms to choose from, three and a half baths, 2,500 plus square feet of space to stretch out in uh, just in the home. Like I said, close to everything, Long Island Railroad, 65 by 150 lot, huge lot, Merrick Schools, 639K. Now, with Mother's Day coming up on Sunday, I'm going to be taking the day off on Monday to spend with my mom and to help my kids celebrate my lovely wife, Christina. But I do still have a couple of Saturday early afternoon appointments still open. The morning is pretty much booked up at this point. And for those of you who know, I spent my years uh, doing photography in the Lexington, Kentucky area. You know, I can't ignore the first Saturday in May. So my Kentucky Derby pick is number 15, Outwork, to steal the race on the front end. Have a fantastic Mother's Day, everyone.